Good evening, I'm Audrey Clement. I'm running for Arlington County Board and I seek your vote. I'm an eight-year Westover resident and a doctorate in political science and, and have a doctorate in political science and service as a congressional fellow. As a longtime Green Party leader and civic activist, I've worked hard to promote a better quality of life for Arlington residents. My opponent, Libby Garvey, says she's an independent voice on county board, yet she approved the county's capital improvement program, which allocates $51 million in fiscal year 2013 alone for phase two of the Long Ridge Park Aquatic and Fitness Center, as indicated on page C24 of the CIP, and is projected to cost $79.2 million before it's done. She also approved the Columbia Pike Neighborhoods Area Plan, which will eliminate 2,800 affordable units and transform the pike into a gentrified urban canyon. Libby says that she wants BRT on the pike, but abstained on the vote for the $250 million Columbia Pike Trolley, which is unfortunate considering that board members are elected to take stands on controversial issues, not back away from them. In the current uncertain financial climate spurred by RAC closures and the federal deficit, I view spending for key projects in the CIP, including the Aquatic Center and the Trolley, as reckless and irresponsible, and will oppose them unless the county's financial outlook improves. In addition to opposing profligate capital spending, I have a specific plan for action to promote fiscal responsibility that emphasizes funding basic needs and investment in sustainable infrastructure. If elected to the county board, I pledge to not raise taxes and repeal this year's tax rate increase, keep libraries open seven days a week, replace trailers with modular classrooms, accelerate the county street repaving program. Finally, in promoting sustainable growth, I pledge to hire an inspector general to audit the budget, use the commercial real estate tax to improve existing transit facilities instead of funding the pike trolley, Consolidate housing programs in one agency to leverage more funds for affordable housing. Provide a year-round homeless shelter that will not break the budget. Install solar panels on all public buildings to save taxpayers money. Thank you for inviting me to this forum. I look forward to your questions. Well, I certainly agree with Libby that a cost-benefit analysis has not been done. And I, I myself do not understand why. Because an environmental assessment was done. But apparently that environmental assessment did not assess the actual dollar cost of the trolley as a factor in its viability as a project. And um, I'm not sure why that occurred, but I do believe, but I have read some comments made by citizens that apparently County Board hasn't reviewed. The person in question is a Mr. Stephen Huntoon, and he lives on Monroe Street. And he claims that there are two problems, A number one, uh, that the dollar cost was not assessed, and that is a requirement by, for approval by the Federal Transit Administration. And number two, that the primary rationale for constructing the trolley was, was the lack of capacity, or shall we say increased need. But he, Mr. Hentoon, quoted numbers in the environmental assessment documentation that indicate that the, the trolley, uh, that the capacity on the Columbia Pike at this time is well below the what is known as the load factor that would trigger the need for more capacity. The county is a great place to live thanks to citizens like you who actively participate in civic life. But our comfortable lifestyle is threatened because the county board doesn't understand the difference between sustainable growth and so-called smart growth. To be sustainable, we must appreciate the difference between needs and wants. We don't need a $79.2 million aquatic center when Northern Virginia is drowning in swimming pools. We don't need a $250 million trolley when we can have world-class bus service, maybe even BRT, at one-fifth the cost. We may want a cultural center and a black box theater, but we must get the private sector to finance them, not the taxpayers. We may admire the already overcapacity Taj Mahal high schools, recently constructed, but we don't need to break the bank to provide more classrooms. If elected, I pledge no more real estate tax increases and to repeal this year's tax rate increase because rising real estate assessments will enable county board to fully fund libraries, schools, streets, public safety, and other basic needs. Moreover, I plan to emphasize recycling and renewable energy, hire an inspector general to audit the county budget and make developers pay their fair share of costs. You can find out more about my campaign for a greener Arlington by visiting AudreyClement.org.